Hi guys, it's me, Jimmy Agix. So the question is that which laptop do you need for web design and web development? This is a really good question. A lot of people underestimate this question. I mean, they even do not think they sometimes go just become Apple MacBook Pro. I mean, that is a really again I'm saying. Apple MacBook Pro is a really solid laptop for web design and web development. I mean, if you just go and pick a $2,000 MacBook Pro, you will be definitely not be wrong. But of course, if you already know the answer, you shouldn't be answering this question right. Indeed, right. So in this question, I mean, we're only going to focus on a window. I'm going to tell you which kind of laptop you need for that. I mean, for making your web design for your web development in a window environment. You pick a $2,000 MacBook Pro, it will best for you for next to 2 to 3 ever with a Retina display. You already know that. Of course, a lot of the developer program already using MacBook Pro. I personally personally hate Mac OS. I'm a window guy. Even I, I want to like Mac OS still. I can't because I do my production stuff in Windows. I do my web design programming in Windows. So, I will answer my question in related to Windows. I'm not going to tell you a specific model number what kind of brand you should go with one thing I will say do not go with HP they really break I mean HP are crap in a brand only I can recommend I mean go with Acer or Lenovo Lenovo is the best bet for you it's up to you you decide number one thing is the display always go for a 15 inch display for a laptop do not go with a 13 inch go for a 15 inch display i mean for programming for opening side by side window doing video editing your web design creating your logo writing your code always go with a 15 inch display sag number second point is go for a display which is above full hd yes window 8.1 even window 10 will suck even with 4k with qhd my personal bet is that you go with a 3K display, it's much better for you. Or go with a 2.5K display. Do not go anything below, 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 below 1080p. Number three, go with the IPS panel. Do not even think to go with a TN, TN panel or VA panel. I mean, just go with the IPS panel. Number four is a lot of people even do not think. I mean, whenever they're buying their laptop for their professional work, is the Adobe R RGB or sRGB. Try to go with a laptop which cover nearly 90% of sRGB color or Adobe RGB color. Yes, I mean, covering a 100% laptop will cost you, I mean, 4000 US dollar. And um, of course, I mean, your budget should be around 1000 dollar. Then try to try to read the review on google there's so much good review try to see a specific laptop we are interested in it can can this laptop cover over 90 percent of the adobe rgb color or srgb color because you will be creating website you will be working in adobe or even you are working any another editing client i mean for your color i mean for your css a lot of time happen that people go and buy a laptop for example they are they are giving a color to their font or to to their header like yellow but when they uh, uh, when they see the same website on an, another device it look like a mustard yellow that is a huge difference between uh, yellow and a mustard yellow do not do that mistake try to go with a laptop which cover 90 percent or or 90% above RGB or Adobe RGB color my always advise is that always buy a 100% coverage monitor for the sRGB or Adobe RGB I have just bought a 100% monitor that cover sRGB color just connect your monitor and do that but of course you want to do the programming you want to do the web design on the go then go with the over 90% over 90 percent again i'm trying to say over 90 percent over 90 percent over 90 percent srgb or adobe rgb i do not color care you know work in adobe rgb uh, color palette or srgb palette just go with over 90 percent number four is the ram 12 gigabyte is the minimum ram i will recommend not 8 gigabyte go with 12 gigabyte i mean 12 gigabyte is a future proof for another four year go with 12 gigabyte i mean i have just did my ram test you definitely need a 12 gigabyte if you are running photoshop easily nowadays if you are doing any kind of uh, image creating for your website easily 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 the photoshop will eat 
7 to 8 gigabyte of RAM plus I will I'm recommending 12 gigabyte your computer will running smooth number 5 is the SSD I mean go with a bloody freaking SSD it really make a huge difference if you buy a laptop uh, if you're buying a laptop that come with a normal magnet letter uh, hard drive HD which we call try to get a laptop with the low capacity I mean try to buy a laptop with 500 gigabyte the normal magnet hard drive take it off throw it away i do not care and they just put a 500 gigabyte ssd nowadays i mean if you want to buy a laptop with 500 gigabyte ssd is freaking expensive but you can easily get a 500 gigabyte ssd from new x for 200 us dollar only just go with ssd again i'm recommending and buy a normal 4 terabyte or 8 terabyte or 12 terabyte external hard drive to store all your video file all your source code everything i always do that while i will recommend the western digital 4 terabyte external hard drive for all your storage of your professional work and finally is the processor nowadays the processor so freaking fast you really do not need to clear right a lot of the tech guru told you that wrong I do not know why the hell this tech guru sometimes are really dumb as yes sometimes they teach you good thing I do not want to name anyone specifically but I mean of course I know you will be watching who I already know that do not listen to that they always say I mean you should not care about processor in 2015 our processor are so fast that even you shouldn't care that's a freaking lie if you buy a i7 processor i7 u processor they the normal fat as processor there's a u processor u stands for ultra portable processor if you buy a i5 with only 1.6 or 1.7 if you buy a new intel m processor with 1.1 base clock speed it really can't do the work smoothly never ever buy a u processor again i'm saying that the people can't understand go with a i5 or even go with i3 m processor i5 m processor i7 m processor go with the cute core processor if you can afford i7 or not just go with a normal i5 dual core a4 thread processor not go with the i5 u1 just go with the i5 m processor that is a huge difference again i'm saying that go with the, even go with the i3 i3 processor is faster than it can hold a much better than basically the clock the base clock speed is higher the basic clock speed nowadays in i5 you can get 2.6 gigahertz that's really awesome rather than getting a 1.6 gigahertz again i'm saying go with the m processor with a full version your laptop will be a little bit fat but do not care do not go with a u1 again i'm saying do not go with a u1 u1 is only good for doing programming it's not good for overall workflow of your web design web development process definitely go with the m processor you can go with that i mean now now we have i5 uh, 4300 m processor or 4200 m processor do not go with i5 4210u do not go with i7 5550u go with the i7 470 10 hq or 12 hq whatever go with a normal m processor again i'm saying go with the i5 m processor i3 m processor or with the i7 q12 processor so now let's recap what kind of laptop you need for your web design web development process again i'm saying web design web development process web development process include a program web design process include a photoshop creating images or that stuff number one try to go with the display which are about full hd number two is try to get a laptop screen which is ips number three try to get a laptop screen which cover about 90 percent it's much better if you get a 95 percent adobe rgb coverage of color or srgb color i mean minimum rec minimum is that 90 percent about 90 percent of adobe rgb color or srgb color number four go with a ssd rather than going with a old hhd drive just go with the ssd solid state drive number five is ram go with 12 gigabyte ram as a minimum recommendation again i'm telling you 12 gigabyte you will be much better of some time i mean you can even do a single client virtualization with a 12 gigabyte ram no problem and number six is go with the normal m processor rather than going with a u processor for ultra portable do not go with the for, for easy understand making understand you for you do not go with a processor which is offering you less than 2.2 gigahertz base clock speed 
a lot of i7 i5 are offering you 1.6 or even 1.1 gigahertz clock speed no go with that your your a lot, a lot of ide now are just can't handle anything below 2 gigahertz just go with that no i do not care about turbo boost i care about base clock speed again i'm saying go with the i5 with a 2.2 or above base clock speed or go with the i7 i think this kind of latte can easily cost you from 1000 to 2000 dollar again i'm not recommending a specific brand but i will say it's really you know what good option for you to you know go with hp their display are not good asus offer really good ips panel with sometimes about 90 percent of srgb or wrgb color coverage yeah that's all for this video if you have any questions just leave it in the comment box below it's me jimmy bye bye